Hi teacher, I've been struggling with improving my spoken English and dealing with stammering. I really want to communicate more fluently, but it's been tough. Hi there, I am here to help. Improving spoken English and managing stammering can be challenging but with the right strategies you can definitely make progress thanks for your encouragement it's just frustrating when i can't express myself smoothly and the stammering gets in the way i understand stammering can be frustrating but remember that it is a common challenge that many people overcome. Let's start with improving your spoken English. Sounds good. I really want to sound more natural when I speak and avoid feeling anxious about stammering. One of the smartest ways to improve spoken English is through consistent practice. Engage in conversations with friends, family, or even practice speaking to yourself. Practicing conversations with friends and talking to myself does sound helpful. It will give me more confidence in expressing myself. Exactly! Another effective technique is shadowing. Listen to the recordings of native speakers and try to imitate their rhyme, intonation, and pronunciation. Shadowing sounds interesting. I'll give it a try. It seems like a practical way to work on my spoken English without feeling overwhelmed. It is a great way to naturally improve your speaking skills. Now, let's address the stammering. One helpful approach is slowing down your speech. Slowing down my speech might feel a bit unnatural, but I can see how it could help me manage my stammering. Slowing down allows you to be more conscientious of your words and gives you time to formulate your sentences. It can also reduce the pressure to rush through your thoughts. That makes sense. Slowing down could help me gather my thoughts and speak more smoothly. Are there any techniques to control the physical aspect of stammering? Yes, these are techniques. One is gentle onset. Start words softly and gradually increase the volume. It can help reduce tension and stuttering. Gentle onset sounds like a practical technique. I'll try to implement it and see if it helps me speak more fluidly. What about when I'm anxious about stammering in certain situations? Anxiety can exacerbate stammering. Practice relaxation techniques like deep breathing or mindfulness before entering stressful situations. Practicing relaxation techniques before challenging situations seems like a good way 
to manage my anxiety and reduce stammering. How about dealing with the fear of being judged? Remember that most people are understanding and patient. Focus on the content of your communication rather than how you are saying it. Surround yourself with supportive individuals. Focusing on the content of my communication instead of worrying about judgment sounds like a helpful mindset. And having supportive people around me is important. What if I get stuck on a word while speaking? If you get stuck on a word, take a deep breath and try saying it again slowly. If it still feels difficult, find a synonym or a simpler way to express the same idea. Taking a deep breath and trying again slowly or finding synonyms are practical ways to manage situations where I get stuck. How can I build confidence in my speaking abilities? Setting small goals and achieving them can boost your confidence. Celebrate every achievement, no matter how small. Also, expose yourself to different speaking situations gradually. Setting small goals and celebrating achievements does sound like a motivating way to boost my confidence. Gradually exposing myself to different speaking situations also makes sense. What about practicing with native speakers? Practicing with native speakers can help you adapt to different accents and speaking styles. It might be challenging initially, but it is a valuable learning experience. I'll look for opportunities to practice with native speakers. It will definitely help me become more comfortable with different accents. How can I continue to track my progress? Keep a journal or record yourself speaking at regular intervals. This way, you can track your improvement over time and identify areas that need more work. Keeping a journal or recording myself regularly is a practical way to track my progress. It will be interesting to see how far I have come. What if I feel discouraged along the way? It is natural to have ups and downs, but remember that progress takes time. Celebrate small victories and do not be too hard on yourself during challenging moments. Celebrating small victories and being patient with myself during tough times sounds like a balanced approach. I'll remind myself that it's a journey. How can I overcome the fear of stammering during important conversations? Preparation is key. If you are entering a conversation where you anticipate stammering, take a few moments to collect your thoughts and practice what you want to say. 
preparing for important conversations sounds like a practical way to reduce the fear of stammering. It will give me more confidence in those situations. Are there any resources I can use to support my journey? Definitely. There are self-help books, online forms, and speech therapy resources specifically designed to help with stammering. Consider exploring those options. Exploring self-help resources and online forums for stammering could provide me with additional support and guidance. I'll definitely look into them. Thank you for all these valuable suggestions, teacher. You are welcome. Remember, you have the power to improve your spoken English and manage stammering. Stay positive, keep practicing, and do not hesitate to ask for help if needed. I really appreciate your encouragement and guidance, teacher. I am feeling more motivated to work on both my spoken English and stammering challenges. That is wonderful to hear. Keep up the positive attitude, and I have no doubt you will make progress. Feel free to reach out if you have any more questions. You got this. Thanks again, teacher. I will definitely stay in touch and let you know how things are going. Have a fantastic day. You too. Keep up the great work and take care. Looking forward to hearing about your progress. Stay confident and keep moving forward.